Hello everyone, my name is Princess Dashamara and today I'm here with another episode of Persona 5 Dancing in Star Night. And if you haven't seen the last episode, then go ahead and see it right now. You don't want to spoil it, do you? In the last episode, you are missing the... We were teleported into the Club Velvet. And all of my friends got in there. And that's where we left off. Now we're going through the tutorials. You receive a rating for each note you hit successfully. The closer that the notes and the targets overlap, when you hit them, the better. There are four potential ratings ranging from perfect to miss. Try to get your timing right so, you're, so you receive as many perfects as possible. Maintaining a streak of Great, or better rays will lead to a combo. Keep your combo going to get to the highest score possible for each stage. Let's begin the tutorial, of course. So yeah, you just have to feel the beat and the rhythm. That's what music is all about. Feel the beat. Go. If you can recognize that song, I would be very impressed because it's from Persona 4 Dancing All Night. If you can guess what that song is called, then you are so smart and you watch my videos all the time. Yes. How to hit scratches. The incoming blue rings are scratches. Hit these by flicking the left or right stick. You can flick the left or right stick in any direction. Time your scratches with the moment of the rings overlap with the target on the outer edge. I think that was my tummy yelling out, let's do this. If you don't hit the scratch, it won't count as a miss. Don't force yourself to hit them until you're comfortable with the rhythm. Let's begin the tutorial so we can get this over with. <laughs> All right, here we go. Practice part one. Now practice hitting both of the notes and scratches. Maintain proper rhythm to keep that combo going. Begin the tutorial. Yes, yes, yes. Begin the tutorial. Here we go. Beat one. I did good. Note types. Houston the notes. To perform a quality routine, you'll need to handle several different types of notes. The pink ones are connected to each other and are called use of notes. To hit use of notes, press the corresponding two buttons at the same time. Let's begin the tutorial. Let's dance. Oh yeah. Feel the beat. Oh, I thought I, I, I thought I hit it. All right, note types, hold notes. Now you know these notes from Persona 4, Dancing All Night. If you don't know them, then go ahead and continue watching this. A stretch out note is called a hold note. Hold note. To hit hold notes, press and hold the corresponding button. Press and hold the button when the front overlaps with the target on the outer edge and time to release with the notes exact ending. Begin the tutorial. But there's one little thing that you are gonna get very confused with. I'll tell you why. Okay, here we go. Hold 
that whole the whole note all the whole note think of the holes as a whole that whole note note types double notes notes connected to each other with the two D's are called double notes. To hit these, press the corresponding button twice in a row. Perfect ratings are slightly easier with, to earn with these, so long as you hit the note when it overlaps the target. Now practice hitting these double notes while keeping the in the rhythm. Remember to press the button twice in a row. Begin the tutorial, yes. Let's dance. I know everyone, you're gonna say, but where's the dancing? We're gonna get to that, but we have to reveal the tutorial so people can understand what we're doing. These are very easy. Hard to clear stages. I think we should. I think we're good. Now we're gonna get to the dancing part. Persona P5D has multi multiple play game modes such as dance stages in dancing mode and social events unlockable within social mode. Let's go dance. So you will start with about four or three. Dancing is where you perform routines after, after selecting a difficult level and stage. As you pr process in the game, new stages and other features will lock, unlock. So we have Wake Up, Get Up There, Tokyo Daylight, Rivers in the Desert, and Limbs of Faith. I'm gonna start with this. The Wake Up, Get Up There. And this should be really easy. The more you go in higher levels, the more XP you'll get. So that's why I usually do normal. Let's go ahead and do this. Looking good. We're counting on you, man. That's it. Yes. For you guys to know, did you know that you can get these songs on your music app? Yeah, you can get them on your music app. I'll put it in the, link, this, the description below. So you can download these songs on your music app. Isn't that real cool? Charge commander. Ha! Huh. 
That's it. as your partner for this track. You can also have partners for each dance that you do. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Hmm. So let's see. There's hard, which might be real hard for us. Easy. Rivers in the desert. Wins the fate easy. This one looks like it's really hard. And then there's also another level once you get to the highest level and unlock a lot of the songs, you'll get all night mode. All night or nightmare mode, which is it's definitely impossible to do, but I'm gonna try it when I get that. Yeah. All right. So now we are going to go move on to the next one called Tokyo Daylight. Uh -huh. Tokyo Daylight. Do you want to change your costume? Select a character's costume here. A costume can consist of an outfit, hairstyle, accessories, color, contacts, and color to wait. There are lots of potential costumes and combinations. There's a ball stage. <laughs> wow. Yeah, cool. Now we're talking about Morgana. Let's go! Hey, let's watch me. All right, let's dance. Bring it on! Ooh. Everyone's rooting for you, Mona-chan. Let's go. I'm gonna. Ha I'm sorry, but, but I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. But I promise I'll continue the song in the next episode. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notifications for more videos like this. I'll see you all in my next latest Persona Four Five, Persona Five, Dancing in Star Night. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.